Hello and welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you've been before and if it's your first visit I hope you'll enjoy what you see on the channel and consider giving me a thumbs up and maybe subscribing and pushing the little bell so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. My name is Janet, I'm the journal keeper. This is part four of our um, project to make another one of these journals which is made from Tim Holtz mini folders. Just to recap we've done the binding of the folders together with linen tape and uh, I sewed the journals so that the larger ones had a side pocket, the smaller ones have a top pocket. We have now decorated all the pages. I'm afraid part three, for some reason, stopped about three or four minutes before the end. I was actually in the midst of putting this on. And, um, well, that was all. It was only a few minutes and, and that was where I left the end of it, was just finishing this off. So I am sorry about that. I'm not sure why. But the good news is I've purchased a new camera. I now have a huge amount more storage and I've got uh, editing um, software on the phone. So I am hopefully good to go. Right. So there was a couple of things I did off camera. I did put a couple of um, bulb pins in, made the holes, put eyelet in. Um, I can't remember what I did. I, I put some, this was quite plain, so I, I did put a bit of collage on here. I did that. And I, this also it was a bit plain, so I did, since this was sort of a travel paperwork, I added some airmail envelope and stamps to that. A uh, little ticket there, linen tape. I uh, put a little bit of velvet there and a verb to cherish on there. Um, I'm finishing that off, I think. I did put a quote there. I think I put a couple more quotes in. Yes, I put one on this linen tape here. And um, I think that's it. So the, this is part four. And the plan was to do the tags and journal cards. I have done a bit of prep. Um, this is the small tag that belongs in here. So we might do a little bit of collage on one side. The other side can be for journaling. So that's that. I have made some journal cards. They are still fairly plain. Um, so they could use a bit of jazzing up. Um, put double pieces of cream cardstock, punch some uh, hearts out of those, some little butterflies there and hearts on that one and then put some coloured uh, paper in between, sew them together with uh, some tabs which I think have been cut out of Edith Holden, Edith Holden paper, I'm pretty sure. So they could use a little bit of something, maybe some stenciling. That might be a good idea here. Yeah. And I've cut some tags of uh, various sizes, playing with my new uh, Sizzix Big Shot. So uh, not bragging that I've got that. But um, anyway, I'm managing and playing around with it. So. I have put a tray of papers and bits and bobs together and some backing sheets to cover these with. So where should we start? Well, I think we'll start with this little card here. We'll do a little bit of collage on here just to, so we can put that in there and then that's done. So I just happen to have some music paper. Right. 
I hope everybody is well today. Weather here is still very hot and we are expecting on Monday a three digit temperature which is extremely unusual for us. So we will definitely be melting by then. Yes. Sorry, I'm just sort of picking through the bits that I've got and um, for collage with some pink. We've just been to the uh, allotment which I explained about in the previous video and uh, we got some uh, green beans courgettes which are zucchini and um, broad beans which are um, lima beans I'm pretty sure they're about the same um, yes raspberries a few little golden raspberries I'm afraid the birds have helped themselves to uh, to some but I ate a few off them <laughs> they're not really ready to be picked but there was one or two so that was nice anyway so I guess I'm going to have to think about what to do with those Probably freeze the green beans. I hope nobody minds the garden talk while we're crafting. Um, you may hear some sounds in the background. My studio is out in the garden and uh, I can't close the door. It's just too hot. So uh, you may hear there's a helicopter going over at the moment. So you may hear that. And Sorry about that. At least for us, it only lasts, you know, a few days. Um, whereas I know some places you just non stop heat all summer. And you get no respite from it. I did actually live in America and I do know how hot it can be. And um, I have to say, I don't miss that constant heat throughout the whole well, from spring onwards till autumn. Right. I've got some little, nice little cards out. The little botanical cards. I thought I might be able to use some of those. On the, on here. Oh, well, on, on some of the tags. Tear this down a little bit. Oh yes, there is something I want to tell you. Well, I've gone over 200 subscribers. So I absolutely thank you so much. I, I just can't believe it. I am so thrilled um, that you, you know, you've taken the time to watch my videos and um, you know, and subscribe and hopefully come back. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, you know, I do still feel quite nervous um, when I'm doing the videos because, you know, I feel like I, you know, I fumble and mess about a lot. But um, I, I am feeling a bit more confident now. So, And I've had so much lovely support from people. They've been so kind little crafters that I know you know they've all been really good um, and um, by the time this video goes up you will have seen uh, on my channel that I've done two a two-part video for the Christmas in July um, I think that that would have gone up by the time you see this yeah but you it's uh, through CAJ crafts but it's uh, it, obviously it'll be on my channel. So 
Right, I think that's enough for that. I don't think we need very much, so that'll pop in there, but I'll, I'll leave that till that's dry. So we need tags. Now I, I trim these down slightly to make sure they would fit. So let me just check that I've got them. Yeah, actually, need a bit more of a trim, I think. To make it easier for them to get in and out, to make it slightly shorter as well. Okay. some backing paper here. I'm afraid I can't remember where I got this paper at all. a nice bright sort of pattern Can really punch the holes later on. Let's see how many we got of these. One, two, two of the small ones, so we just need two of those. Right, we'll trim this down to match size wise. Yeah, so over 200 subscribers, and just absolutely. I just can't believe it. I'm really thrilled. So um, I think at 250, I might have a giveaway. Obviously, there'll be more on that when we get to that point. But I thought that would be a nice thing to do as a thank you to you all. I cut the cards from a cream 
card stock. I think it was about um, 200 GSM. Right, so that's two tags. Now, there are a couple of pockets that we could use something to, in this here where we have a little tuck spot, we could have something to put in there um, and something to go here. Uh, we've got tickets in there, so we don't really need anything else in there. Okay. This backing paper is from Artie Mays. Uh, I'm not sure where the others are from. Okay. So we don't need those. Hole puncher and punch some holes back in the top. Get the old crocodile out. This is one piece of uh, equipment I really wouldn't be without. So handy.
probably one of the last things we can do is find some string or ribbon to thread through the tags. Okay. I think I might go with some of these botanical because these are kind of a pinky colour. Okay, we'll just give her a little bit of tea dye ink on these bits and bobs that we're going to use for the I think I live near an airport, all of them in helicopters or something going over. I don't know what that's, what that's about. There goes the train. Well, I will tell you that I live in the Severn Valley. The River Severn runs through the valley. And we have a um, restored old steam trains that run um through the valley it, it's not a huge i mean they don't go all around the country it's just um it's sort of a tourist thing i mean people can get on it and um uh sort of go from town to town but i would say it's generally more of a tourist thing but at the moment the steam trains aren't running and it, so it runs along basically bottom of our god but um at the moment the steam trains aren't running because of the risk it's so dry because of the risk of fire as they go through the countryside so they've got diesel trains and they have those great honking horns so sorry about that <laughs> you're getting all sorts of noises i hope it's not too loud Of course, I haven't got any sort of air conditioning or anything in here, and it's just quite hot. There is a little bit of a breeze, so I've got a bit of the door open. It's, um, it's not too bad. song that I listened to that's just going round in my head and won't go away now. Why it's so annoying.
Okay, let's see if we can do a little something on here. Since these will be sliding in and out of the uh, pockets, I don't want to put a lot on here. So it's going to be sticking up or and getting in the way.
So that is that's done for that. Okay, and we've got that to go in there, and that to go in there, and we've got these to go in. in here. Okay. Right. So we are down to the journal cards that will slip in these slots here so I wonder if we could do something from the botanical thing just put a little something on these big butterfly this is a tiny butterfly <clears throat> Maybe one a bit smaller. with that like that and that one Sorry, that's my creaky door. I was trying to pull it too because there were some people speaking next door's garden. <coughs> We're nearly done now, anyway. So, let's move that out of the way. Apart from putting some ribbon and um, you know, having a last look through to make sure everything's okay. I think we've pretty much finished this. What's well, exciting? So, I'll just have a quick flip through. Okay, so 
this is a Tim Holtz mini folders that have been bound together with the linen tape this it was um, inspired by Susie Shabby Soul who uh, is on Facebook and Instagram um, and I will leave a link she's got um, a tutorial on the binding and she's got her making her journal so or a flip through of her journal so I'll um, I'll put those down below. Uh, if you haven't seen the first three parts of this, I will um, link those also. And um, well, okay, let's just go through. So we've got a frame here, photograph, and a little bit of the uh, Tim Holtz Botanical there. Um, this is this little tuck spot some collage and we've got one of our tags there journaling uh, cards I mean so here we've got the little pocket I put one of Tim Holtz's little um, clips there that I had rusted and I did punch two holes here uh, with both pins and I have put a made with love on there but I'll, I'll find something else to put on that one and I'll um Put some ribbon through the tags so we've got the flip out here with the photograph collage this is uh, one of the Tim Holtz uh, snapshots that I trimmed it down this is a just a collage pocket here and we'll put some ribbon there it's another journaling cord uh, here's a little another tuck spot with some tickets in some of the Tim Holtz cardstock from um, one of the pads about travel I think I had added that since uh, the last time I was on here and this one is one of the Tim Holtz frames the photograph behind it with some lace and some little decorative items there then we've got the cards in the tops and uh, this is the uh, some backing paper I made here and uh, this is one of the portraits uh, Tim Holtz portraits Tim Holtz botanicals uh, this is my little <laughs> from my garden my little upside down flowers which I realized after I stamped it the flowers were upside down but actually it didn't really matter because you could still see them um, these are flowers I pressed and leaves from my garden and it's on a bit of calico that I inked with some rusty hinge and tea dye I think and I stamped these with the field note stamps and then we've got another tag there and on the back we've got another journaling space here I can't actually sure remember where this came from whether I made it or Somebody else did. It could possibly be in Tiny and Tatty Treasures, but I'm not sure. Anyway, these two books will be for sale in my Etsy shop, which is MSL Sales, and they will be linked below. And I'd like to uh, also thank Jerry, who has recently purchased some journals from me. And so i think that's it for now i hope this has um, been interesting for you i've got some ideas for next um, projects i have some preparation done on a very small edith holden journal that'll be the theme of it but it'll be material i've made the pages out of calico and sewn them together so that decorating that could be something we might do and as I mentioned in the last um, part, um, I was interested in one of the um, makes by Stacey Hutchinson, which was um, a denim covered sort of accordion folded book. So I'm quite interested in trying something like that. So I'll see how that goes. But anyway, I'll be back soon with another project. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you'll stay well and safe. And it's goodbye for now.